A Pangolier. You have some good trade potential with Swash and Shield Crash, but Analog should be ahead in just that Tidebringers for free. And Thompson's always going to have to walk up to try and trade, but uh, at, at the least, once Shield Crash has a few levels, this should be a little bit more manageable with some damage mitigation. Nine. Already Ooh. securing first blood here against KJ. KJ just getting uh, absolutely destroyed here by a nine and 33. And of course, you, you can't really... Here as well. Analog, just that mid lane. Topson is just taking so much damage from Analog. Every Tidebringer here just takes out so much HP. Just look at that Topson. What's he meant to do? He's trying to play around it, but Analog is just really abusing this. As top lane, Skinner in the meantime. Skinner goes down. Great dive in from FCR, King RD, and KJ. The nine has rotated. The problem is Snaking is getting just destroyed here by the side of King RD and KJ. Though Snaking will survive. KJ getting very low, but will also be able to walk his way out. As now nine will chase down King RD, but FCR is going to show up again. Uproar out. Nine gets the kill, but the trample is going to secure the weaver. And oh, Skidder canceled his TP. Uh -oh. oh boy. I believe that was a misclick. They don't want to risk not having that escape route. The FCR. They will avoid as now the smoke is incoming. Tundra, they've run through the river up towards the top lane. Snaking in Topson. They know the primal beast is around here somewhere. Onslaught is out, but Topson, he's got the defusal blade now to just inhibit him up. FCR, he will die first. It's a great start, but now the turnaround is here from VKS, though Topson, he won't cop the torrent. Still, Analog will drag him back, but the Rolling Thunder is out. They've got the Kunk controlled up now, and this is a real problem for the side of Key Stars. They are still trying to fight this one out. The boat will come in, but Analog, he's so darn low. He'll drag them back again, but is it gonna matter? It doesn't seem like it. Everyone is just getting destroyed here on the side of VKS. They will at least get nine on the Weaver, but it's nothing. Yeah. No, certainly not. No reason to back off right now for the side of Tundra. I think every single lane's just pretty much worked out. Maybe with the exception of Thompson's lane, probably the hardest one. Again, a steady push up top. Oh, they've got an excellent snaking. They might be able to at least find a Shadow Demon for their trouble, and they will. Snaking is down. Nine. Looking to just back his way out. Meanwhile, Thompson going for a Rolling Thunder on Costa Bile, forcing a BKB in the backside. Costa Bile, he's almost down. Costa Bile might just go down to Thompson. As Thompson, he's still going into the tier four towers. They'll go for the grab ally onto the tombstone to try and give Costa Bile a way out of this. And he will barely make it. Thompson now the one in danger, falling very low, will go Ooh. down. VKS. Oh, they tried everything to save that Muerta and they barely get away with it. A Tundra, I, I don't think they're going to make this easy. They are still going to stick around, even without the Weaver. They do not want to give this away for free. Rolling Thunder has been popped and they'll make the jump in. The Muerta already caught by Costa Bile. He'll get the BKB in time. Meanwhile, 33 is already down. And Tundra, they are being forced to leave the area. I think it's Thompson. He'll also get caught in the Pango. FCR, he's around to take him down. Costa Bile, the one to claim the kill. And now Roshan is almost certainly just theirs. That's Tundra are around the area. Costa Bile, he's running in by himself right now. Maybe not realizing he was surrounded, but he'll still go for the bit of a man fight here with the ulti. Trying to chase down 33 on the Visage. 33, he's a tanky boy. Snaking's gonna save him with disruption for now, as 33 is still running somehow, some way. But they'll finally take down the Visage. It's on to the Lunar now. Skinner, he might just be forced to fight. He's got nowhere to go but down. And he is gone. It's VKS. They are fighting back. Trying to hand Tundra their first loss of the road. To Still top lane is being pushed in by 33 and Skitter. And this is classic Tundra for you. They are not going to give anything away for free. There must be some kind of value that they get out of this. As 33 is going to get hit by the boat of Analog. Analog making it very hard for 33 to get away as they force all the TPs over. And 33, he might just be dying. Meanwhile, Snaking also going down. Oh. Rolling Thunder out, but Costa Bile gets the BKB in time. And now with the ulti, he's going to go right for the man fight against Skidder. Skidder barely able to survive with his own BKB. Costa Bile now the one that's a sitting duck, and he does go down. Oh. All right, maybe. God. Maybe we don't have such a, a one-sided game on our hands as... I mean, Keed getting split. Round. 
are just waiting for some like uh, waiting for way more on skitter but again you can kind of play safe push with the disruption and that's exactly what they're going to be doing just slow sieging up while the Marth is down although oh, jump in they oh, found boy. the weaver nine just gets destroyed can they get Skidder? He's the big target. Skidder gonna go for a run. We'll turn around now onto FCR. Torrent is not gonna land, but they'll land the boat. And now the Torrent Storm will come in. Skidder, he's a sitting duck. Skidder is down. Thompson, he's the next one on the chopping block right now. That he'll go for a rolling thunder to try and get away. But the chase is on. He'll try for the TP, but the knockback is there. Thompson, he will be able to get out. But 33 will not. 33 is down. And that's three down for Tundra now as, I mean, the side of uh, VKS, they are fighting to go down. VKS, they'll go for the racks as well while they're at it. They are a little bit afraid by the looks of it. Constabile will drop the calling. Here comes Thompson. FCR, he's a tanky boy, not really taking too much damage as now nine was focusing the pulverize out. Thompson, oh, they've lost the Pango. He does have buyback though, so he will come back in for the fight. But VKS, they will back off immediately. In fact, they're looking to move back in, perhaps. They are still all very healthy. They'll wait for the creep yeah. wave, and it's back up to the high ground they go. But Thompson, he's got the rolling thunder. They've found Costa Bile. Can they burst him down? Yes, they can. 33 oh, holding him down, the familiars. Just a perma stun. And there was no save for it. It's FCR. Oh. FCR's gone a boot. What oh, is happening? Boy. They get a bit too keen for the hunt here. Once you do manage to get to that point. Still, they, they are solely focusing on just shoving mid with these exposed racks. On the Visage 33, trying to be a little bit cheeky here up against King RD and might just have him. And Will with the sole assumption. Here comes FCR. King RD is going to buy back for this. Meanwhile, Lion's going straight for the racks again as Analog is going to join in now on the Kunkka. Meanwhile, mid lane. Looks like they do find a mid racks in the dire, dire base as they do lose nine in the Radiant bases. Now 33 is going to try and get his way out with the TP, but no, it is not enough. Complete chaos. But they will defend their base on the Radiant side and now TP is coming right back in. Lunar away. Thompson. Not out of danger yet. We'll go for the roll up and try to avoid Costa Bile completely, but it's not looking too good for him. Here comes Snaking to save the day though with the disruption. And we'll give Thompson another chance at life. Look at Skidder. Skidder is rushing for the radiant face. Meanwhile, Snaking does die. Oh my Skidder, God. he's on a mission. He wants that Brax. He wants the Megas and he's going to get it. Oh Off you go, goodness. Skidder. Well done. Oh, Analog, he's got the X out. They want the punish, they've got the sight, the vice, and they've got the kill. Problem is, Skidder does have buyback. Yeah, they can... They can hold back. An opportunistic kill could open up that endgame scenario for them anyway, considering that they only have the tier 4s to worry about. They don't really care about the side lanes. We'll see if that's something Tundra reads as well, they drag back sneaking a little bit early here we go tier four tower is going to be under siege they want that buyback out of the lunar nice drag back on snaking will mean the shadow demon is down for 90 buyback. seconds without buyback and now the side the vice out has caught the weaver nine he's got no buyback either both supports are down vks they have a chance at pulling off the game victory against tundra thompson he's going to try to move in the tombstone will save king rd but not for long thompson he'll do it his damn self he's got no team but he's still getting the job done Torrent will land though. They've got the side device. They've got the Pangolier. He should be going down. And Thompson is finally dead. But the mid wave is being controlled by 33, who will not allow them to push his base. We'll be able to spot you though, Thompson. He'll make the jump in. He's found the Undying and he's found Costa Bile. That's the big target. Oh. Costa Bile though. He's in the tombstone. He's going to be okay to reset. He'll pop the Pierce the Veil. He'll refresh the BKB. He'll go for the fight. It's absolute chaos at the top lane, but nobody's down yet. There goes nine. That's one down. But is there any more to come? Thompson, he just keeps going. He really wants King RD, but King RD is gone. He is safely out of there. This Thompson's the one to drop. He'll lose his ages. Meanwhile, Skidder looks like he's about to go down, but the disruption will save for now, but not for long. Skidder is down. No buyback. No buyback available for the Lunar. FCR, That's he's it. found a fourth. They found a third. 
and it seems like they're going high ground for the jugular. They just want the Ancient down. Put a finish to this game. There's no way to defend just with Thompson, surely. Though I say that Thompson, he's trying. Scythe of Vice, he's trying to get the creep waves out. Analog, dropping a little bit low, but now they've got the control. Thompson will go down. That's a dieback, and that should be it. Though the creep waves are kind of the base, but it won't matter. Yeah, they've got access through top. They're going to be able to just chase this down. Respawns are going to be way too slow. And VKS, they get it done. We talked about well, what well, you well. got to do up against a team like... Final lane as well, of course. Bot lane, FCR and King RD are up against Snaking and Skidder. Now, this bot lane should be okay for VKS, right? Like, you, you've got a Visage, you've got a Tusk. Chances are both sides is going to trade farm. I don't... I was about to say, I don't expect too many kills here, but here we go. Snaking going to get jumped immediately and he is down. There you go, Jonathan. Caster's Curse coming in hot. That it does. I mean, again, we talked about the Faces Void pickup to dodge out the damage coming out from VKS. A Treant, uh, Nature's Prophet, can't really do that. He doesn't have Time Walk. So if he cops it, he cops it, and he cops it fast. Although oh. Snaking, looking for yep. a snipe. He might get his revenge very, very early. Is FCR now going to drop? Skidder, we'll back off. We'll leave King RD alone. But they get their revenge. Uh, Snaking, I'm sure, will be pretty happy with that trade, in fact. Not going to be too upset and giving kill over. It's what you have to do when you're up against Tundra. You have to find all these small things to play with. They are finding them so far up top on VKS. A decent enough start coming out for VKS, although the mid lane is starting to suffer. Analog starting to drop really low up against Topson. <sighs> I mean, 19 to 10 on that Clinks, although... They're going to snowball in. Topson, he's still actually trying to go after Analog, realizing there's no real way out. Snaking sprouts him into boot. Why the hell not? Topson going to try to go for a run, but is certainly dead. Snaking, he will go for the chase after King RD. In fact, never mind, he'll turn back towards Analog, but he doesn't have the lockdown nor the damage to finish them off. Unless he's going to sprout back up and they're going to snowball back in. King RD continuing with the tag team now. So Snaking still trying to run. Does have the fairy fire and will oh, survive as oh, King RD. Oh. Will go down. Analog almost dropping along with him. In comes Thompson again. The Thompson is back, but it seems like Analog will be okay. He scoots out of there with his life intact. Has a water rune to give him a little bit of a boost. Has something to play with, but with Thompson fully reset, cost the sure delay for even a moment. Here comes that power spike we were talking about earlier, John. They've got the avalanche toss and they've got the cinder brew now with the urn charge, by the way, of 33. So, this is where the top lane gets very difficult. So, now if they land a cinder brew into an avalanche, you are almost guaranteed to just die. Yeah, you're not going to be surviving that output. They are starting to force a response down mid. Top CR. I mean, oh, Thompson, mid lane, he's going to be in a bit of danger. FCR in the meantime, still being chased down bottom, though Skidder cannot quite reach. Thompson, he is still alive, but not for long. The tornado does land, and Thompson will go down as analog. He will hand the tip over to King RD for the great rotations of the Tusk. And I might agree, John, King RD has been doing some fantastic work. And he has. Yeah, we saw him. Jesus, PTP, all that time you couldn't show us the death summary of, uh, of 33? My goodness. Come on, PTP. <laughs> we're, we're paying you good money, PTP. Show us the death summary. Show us the death summary, PTP. What are you doing? There you go. It's... <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, PTP. We appreciate it. Uh, well, Lane, Snake why King. Why do that to him? <laughs> Skidder, Chrono up. He's got it. Oh. Just cancel the TP of Analog. No wasting time. Beautiful pickup. They could still go after King RD, though he will TP away. And now mid lane FCR. He will also get caught. Familiars? Uh, doesn't seem like they're going to be too lucky either. They both get bursted down. So Tundra uh, starting to really get their tempo going. Absolutely. Tier 2 mid tower, though, is going. Like VKS, they are still fighting outer objectives. Costa BLA seems to want to try for the high ground. At least force back the side of Tundra. Nine, though. This is a bit of a force back. Costa BLA! He got tossed back into a chrono, but the swap is there. They will save for now. 
Problem is, he will get tornadoed up, so they've still got the gyrocopter held down, and now the Root's coming out. He's forced to fight. Costabile, can he do it? It seems like he'll cop a bit of damage, but he's okay to back off for now, but Nine's oh. back in again. Avalanche and toss out. The Visage is down. Costabile, he does not have a Satanic available. Thompson comes in from the backside. That is just a complete wipe for the side of Tundra. That's kind of the thing, you know, you've got this tiny toss back. It can be a little bit worrisome here for the gyrocopter. That it can be. You are seeing some of the saves kick in, but... Tundra, and it's just not enough. Even a one-man chrono is, you know, in any other game, you might feel bad about it. But in this kind of game, you don't mind. You've got oh, enough from toss up again. Else They've got the invoker this time, and analog, he just... Ooh. Oh, he gets away? The ghost walk. It disjoints some of the attacks, so he will be able to survive just a little bit longer. Problem is, King RD will get left behind. The KJ is moving back in as Nine now gets the Invoker. Oh my Analog God. moved back in for a second, gets caught by Nine. The Nine will give his life up for it, but it's well worth it. Tundra, they'll be more than happy with those trades. For sure. When KJ tried his best to save, Nether Swap with the damage reduction as well, doing a ton of work there for the invoker to kind But he does not have buyback gold now. So if he dies, the fight is as good as over. Costabile will show himself. The jump is there. Nine, he's going to make the jump in immediately, though he does get stunned up. It's a bit of a messy fight for Tundra, but Skidder, he does jump in for a nice chrono. He found three targets. Analog is gone. They've even lost oh KJ God. on the Vengeful Spirit. And now Skidder, he can get right to work. Costabile, who are you even attacking, sir? He doesn't know where to go, what to do. There's nothing to do. He's just down. Thompson with a triple. FCR just surrounded by the trees. Will also down, go down as Thompson gets an ultra kill for himself. What can you do? A full team wipe. Like this Clinks is an assassin on a mission. And... For VKS, it's all about just trying to keep building up in Gyro, but again, it's just Gyro farming. No one else has farm here. Oh, here we go, Nine. Four staff to the high ground. Will not go down yet, though. The shards will lock him in. Meanwhile, Thompson just kills off Analog on his own. Nine somehow still alive. Nine actually blinks away. He's fine. He had no help around him, but they just weren't confident to move up high ground. They just didn't have enough vision. Meanwhile, enough vision. Oh, in sneaking. the triangle, Snaking, he might be baiting here for Thompson, who's sneaking up from the backside, but no. Snaking will drop, Thompson will leave him. So they do at least get a profit. It's something. It is something. It's not the biggest deal in the world. Thompson just waiting for someone to kind of eat up this creep wave. No one biting the bait just yet. Does have the arcane rune ready as well, so he's going to be running around. There is a lot of hesitation going high ground because it does prove to be very challenging. FCR. But it does. They're going to try and make the jump in on the clings. Thompson will just walk away. Nine. Well, they're still going to chase him down. Thompson is still being targeted, but Nine does save the day. Tossing Thompson out. He will be able to retreat and reset. 33, though, forced the primal split to be able to get the fight going and be able to survive a little bit longer. Meanwhile, the Tusk back in on Thompson, but Thompson just annihilates him. Back on the gyrocopter. Skidder not even requiring the chrono. Just doing it the old-fashioned way, and Costabile can do nothing. He can do nothing but watch it happen. Yeah, they, they can't stop this. And with the threat of Chrono still ready as well, uh, the high round's just gonna get torn apart. And there's not much they can do to stop it on the side of VKS, even with a relatively short response. Split push. They got tier three tower. Thompson's racing his own team to find a Rax. And he's actually winning that race, by the way. We'll leave the area now. But I, I, think, for, uh, I think for the Kate Stars, it's... This game is looking pretty much as good as over at this point, not to be anti-hype, John. That last team fight was oh. without Chrono being committed, and oh. now the Chrono has been committed. He'll find two more targets, plus some familiars, and they just get destroyed. Xanalog, he will die once again on the Invoker. They do have buybacks available, but I don't really know if they even want to commit it at this stage. Like, the, the game is just so one-sided. It might just be time to call it. The, the, the gyro is coming up in three seconds. They'll go one more time, perhaps. 
There's your gyrocopter. Are we going to buy back? They'll commit all the buybacks, but the ancient is completely exposed. They are just ignoring the heroes, and that's game over. Game one to go the way of Tundra. They remain undefeated here today for the road of T road to TI. And well, game two will be coming up, but a Tundra, John. There's no way to sugarcoat it. They made it look pretty damn easy. That they did.